because I'd be going through a really rough time, okay? I don't share all of that, but I am. And do you know the harassment, the bullying, the nonstop videos being made about me, the lies have never ever stopped. Not before my son died, not after my son died, not for one day after my son died. Did anyone, did anyone stand up and call for peace? Did anyone say give her a break? No, I had to wake up on a Mother's Day and call out people who were saying the most disgusting jokes about my son and that had to be brought to my attention and I had to see that content on other channels. And I'm so damn sick of it that the biggest bullies in this community have people rallying, rallying for them. Leave them alone, leave them alone. I was accused of everything. I was accused of milking my son's death. I was accused of faking my son's death. I was accused of all of that by some of these very, very same people that are raising money now for meals, for meals, for their aunt's death. And that's okay. But I, I, who didn't do that, who didn't have anyone do that, was accused of milking my son's death. I, I mean, I, I don't even, I don't even know where to begin, but I said it all along. <laughs> They would have never, never not raised money for a funeral had their child died. They would have never not put up fundraisers for that, okay? But I had to wake up on Mother's Day, four days after my son's death, before his services, to see getting messages about how these people were in lives joking about my son, joking about his death. How people were calling the funeral home to see if he really died, how I had people I had people calling me in the middle of the night saying they were going to shoot us up in front of the funeral home if we went to the funeral home. I didn't say any of this because they would say, oh, don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. I'm so sick of not saying anything. I am so sick of not saying anything. Nobody knows the amount of abuse that I had to take. Can you imagine just falling asleep when your son dies and you wake up because you got a phone call and the person on the other line is calling your son the most vile names and saying if you go to his services, they're going to shoot your family up? And then you try to go back to sleep and you get another call and another call and they're all from different numbers so you can't, that blocking them doesn't work. And you don't want to turn your phone off because your daughter's in Brooklyn who just lost her brother and you don't want her not to be able to reach you if she needs to. And nobody gives a damn or gave a damn to say, oh my gosh, leave these people alone. Right? No, the abuse continued and it was my son. And now you all want peace. You all want peace now. Isn't that lovely? You all want peace. You all want peace now, but you didn't care and you've never cared. It's choppy again. Well, that's, I mean, I, Jimmy's sister died, right? Did they ever stop? Did they ever stop? That was my children's aunt, my husband's sister. She died. Did anybody stop? No. No. It's not the same for everyone. For the biggest bullies of YouTube, it's different. For them, we must band together and pay for their meals. And we must bring peace. And we must bring peace in the name of their deceased relative to YouTube. It's just insane. It is so freaking insane. These people who sat on a panel and said I should be over my grief. I should be done with it. Why am I bringing up my son? Why am I talking about my son? They never stopped. They never stopped. They discussed whether he was really dead or he wasn't. They called the funeral home, okay? We got those calls. Calling my son disgusting names, saying they're going to shoot us up if we go to the funeral home to try to add a little more hurt, a little more for a mother that's, you know, oh, we'll kill the rest of your children. We'll kill your whole family in front of the funeral home if you go and have services for your son. That's what I was getting on the first night that I was going to sleep. I was being awoken with those phone calls. Those. Not to mention the emails. The emails that wanted to hurt me as much as they could by saying that, what my son must have felt in his last moments, okay? And, and, and making assumptions about the accident and making assumptions about the windshield and making assumptions about all kinds of things. I had to have emails like that. That's what I mean. These people don't even know. They don't know because I was told not to share it. I was told not to say anything.
I was always silenced. Okay, I was always silenced. And I said it, and those that are close to me know it, I said if these people had an iota of the harassment, the bullying, the, the sheer disgusting emails that I get, oh boy, they call it death threat. Somebody saying, I wanna go to a casino. That's not a death threat. And when these real death threats are played, they have the perpetrators of those death threats in their chats. Alleged psychologists on YouTube are in the very chats and in the comments of these channels that have done this to me. And they're calling for peace. They're calling for peace. Where is the hypocrisy in that? If you don't see it, I don't know. I don't know. You're calling for peace, but you have BBT Boston on your panel, and you're believing the crap she's spewing when you can see for yourself the legal documents that show she didn't have one ounce of credible proof to have that, or have the death threats, you can hear them with your own freaking ears, but you have her on a panel? And then you say you're calling for peace? You are not calling for peace. You don't know what peace is. You don't know what harassment is either. You don't know what death threats are either. The stuff you make happen to yourself, you orchestrate it, you pretend, that's not real. It's not real. In my opinion, that's all lies. I've never seen real credible proof. I didn't have a SWAT though, right? My SWAT was fake. Things that you've seen, things that there's proof of, you say didn't happen. I have PTSD from a SWAT called on my house. But you want peace now. Where was my peace? It didn't stop for a second. That very night you were on panels making jokes about my son. And even surmising that I made it up for views. Who the hell would do that? What kind of depraved mind would do that? But now everybody wants to kumbaya it, okay? Because it's convenient. It's convenient for them to kumbaya it right now. This is infuriating and I've calmed down. This is calmed down, okay? Talking about how she's having a bereavement fund because she needs to eat. Is she paying for her aunt's funeral? Is she paying for her aunt's funeral? What about parents that have to pay for their child's funeral and they don't have funds to help them out? I never asked for a dollar when my son died. Do you think his funeral didn't cost money? Uh, do you think we didn't have to eat? I was his mother. I read this thing that, oh, and you're not thinking of eating. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't your child. I didn't know that everybody's got to pay for you to eat. What about when my children's aunt just died? Jimmy's sister, did we have to have a fund for food? Did we have to have a bereavement fund? But even though we didn't, we were still dragged and dragged and dragged, saying I was milking my son's death. It just, it's so sickening. It's so sickening to see this, okay, because before the bereavement fund, how many other funds were there? There were funds when you circumvented YouTube's terms of service in order to go on and bully me on another channel. You forgot that? You circumvented their terms of service to go on the other channel 2.0 and you put out the most disgusting video about me. You said I didn't have COVID. You said I had a cold. There are so many things I would like to say about you, but I won't. I won't because I can control myself and I know that everyone is going to see you for who you are and most important God can see you for who you are and can see every dirty, dirty thing you're doing in the dark and it's all going to come to light, baby. It's all going to come to light.
and all of your people who are calling for peace and hoping that someone can unite this community. No, it's not going to happen. You want to know why? Because it's not real, it's not genuine, and it's just a matter of convenience. If it was genuine, if you were a good person, they wouldn't have done the things they did when my son died. If it was genuine, if you were a good person, they wouldn't have done the things they did when my son died. I wouldn't have had to wake up and, and, and see on channels that people were on panels participating, laughing at and making fun of my son that died, making fun of me as a mother, making fun of my grief or deciding how long my grief is going to last. I'll tell you something. If you're wondering how long my grief is going to last, it's going to last until I die. And if you can't understand that, then you must have been blessed not to lose a child. So don't put your ridiculous pleas for peace and expect me to ever believe them. You don't care an iota about peace. You would have never, ever played that video on your panel. And even if you say you didn't say those things, yes, you did because you played that video and you knew what was on it and you just had that video speak for you. So yes, you are guilty of that. And then you said you understood that and you would have done the same thing. If anyone had ever done that and it was your child, oh boy, we would still be hearing about it. Do you think certain people would have ever shouldered the funeral of their child on their shoulders if they are taking a fundraiser for every single thing that happens real and unreal in their lives? But they came at me. I am just, I am so enraged and, you know, why wouldn't this person be taking advantage of a situation for their gain? Why wouldn't they? When they've used every other thing, when they've made imaginary things happen that didn't really happen, and yet they call out things that can be proven, like a SWAT. Oh, that didn't happen. That's a lie. Who are you listening to? Well, I'm listening to BBT Boston, who didn't realize the date under the picture is the one she's pulling up there, but she doesn't want to look that there's a police report. She doesn't want to look at all the facts, okay? But, and then, oh, the alleged psychologist, the alleged psychologist making diagnoses, and then running all over the place supporting bullying channels. Well, alleged psychologist, I wonder how your patients would feel. Hmm? How would they feel? I and mean, that's not going real life. I'm asking you a real question. People, if you are giving anyone advice, how would they feel if they came to you and know that you, at what, almost 70 years old, you are running around to channels where they are bullying and making fun of people and applauding them? That says a lot for your state of mind. That says a lot for the person you are. Bullying and harassing? Wow, that's unbelievable. And you're in there and you're applauding these creators that are doing that. It's just, it's, it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. The other day, she sat up there and said, oh my gosh, anyone who body shames, anybody who fat shames, anybody who brings other people's children into this stuff, blah, 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 the whole nine yards. I guess maybe you have a lapse of memory. Thank you, sweet pea. Maybe you have a lapse of memory because from the end of June through the present day, you made as many as three or four videos about me in July. July was your heyday. August was your heyday, wasn't it? You were going to town. You were streaming me nonstop. You were looking for anything you could to shame me about, weren't you? And you were loving it. Did you forget that? Did you forget it? And then she couldn't stop. So while she says, and the whole chat says how vile it is, how vile it is to do that, all of her people are over at that other channel, all of them going in there, and just her main people in her chat are applauding this person who is bullying and harassing me. But that's okay. Save Robbie, you're over there. I thought you weren't going to do this anymore. You're over there, right? You wanted me to accept some apology, didn't you? Wow. This is unbelievable. It's unbelievable.
moderators and her royalty chat that pay her, that pay her to be there, had to buy the meals because otherwise they wouldn't have eaten because they forgot about it. And a bereavement sign, uh, fund had to be put up. You know why? <laughs> why? Why? Why did they need a bereavement fund? When there is a fund every other day, while she's earning money on YouTube, and oh my gosh, where was her money? One of her three channels was demonetized. One of her three channels where she collected three times the memberships. Do you want to get out your violin now or later? Her other two channels were monetized. She didn't lose her income. She shouldn't have any of that. You know why? Because she circumvented YouTube's ban. She circumvented her channel ban. She wasn't supposed to be on YouTube. She wasn't supposed to create another channel. She wasn't supposed to go live. Other channels, much, much larger than hers, have lost everything. What, so what, what's going on? So now we've got to feel sorry and say, oh, she lost her income. She's lucky she has a freaking two freaking channels that are monetized. What about the channels that lost all of their channels for doing a quarter of what she's done? They're not monetized anymore. They don't have a channel anymore. She should be thankful. She's running two memberships on two different channels, which she wanted a third and a fourth to run memberships on. And now she lost that third channel, but now she's starting it up again. And she's lost that monetization on the third channel, the third memberships, but came on and boohooed like it was her only income. Meanwhile, she's also earning income on Facebook. But people are not understanding this. And you know what? She said that when she's not on YouTube, she's not earning money. That's a lie. That's a lie. Because your moderators have even stepped up and run videos when you're not on YouTube, right? You get replays, right? And in those replays, you have your cash app and everything flashing across the screen. So that's a lie. And ad revenue still runs on your videos, right? That you say are not monetized, but they are. And it's just one line after another, after another, after another. But these calls for peace, that's ridiculous. Calls for peace. Oh, I, I, I don't know. How, how ridiculous is this? I don't know. I have truly said it, and every moderator I know has said it. If they had anything remote to what happened to me to them, oh my gosh. Thank you, Nicole. It's what you say. Something in the dark always comes to light. It won't be a good ending for these awful people, Carolyn. Thank you, Nicole. And I, I, I don't know if you heard me in the beginning, but I really appreciate the, that meeting last night and what you and Lucy said. That meant the world to me because you don't know how I've been struggling. I've been struggling a lot. And um, yeah, and so that was unbelievable what you guys were there for. And um, yeah, I went to bed feeling really good. But I just, it kills me that in my grief and with this community, that I would not be the same without, that when I came to my community, to just talk about things that were going on with my son. They tried to make it out that I was there sad fishing or I was there doing this and doing that and I'm not one that had a bereavement fund and it was my son. 
I was there to talk to the people of the community. I never asked for money. I didn't use him to ask for money, okay? People didn't buy my meals. I know you say you forget to eat. <sighs> okay, all right. The harassment, the abuse never stopped for a second. It got worse. It got worse, and it was my son. Imagine how you would feel if your child died and you're getting calls in the middle of the night saying that they're going to shoot you up at the funeral home or hearing from a funeral director that people are calling the funeral home to see if it's really true. People going on the internet and spreading false rumors about how your child died. People sending you emails. People sending you emails. People making fake text messages about how your son died. Would you like that? Would you like that? Getting emails about mocking the pain and suffering that your child may have gone through in their last moments of their life. That's okay, right? That's okay. These people, you know, they would, they would have not only told you about it, they would have used it. That's the only way your channel survives. Nobody wants to watch you with your karaoke, okay? Nobody wants to watch you do anything else. You have more hate watchers than anything else. And it's just, it's insane. But now, now, peace. But it never stops for anyone else. It doesn't stop for the Rusaks, does it? Never stop for them, right? Mm-mm, doesn't matter. Never stops. Never stops for any of the victims. Didn't stop for Kim Devins. With her daughter Bianca, it doesn't stop. But yet, it's supposed to stop for people that have never been victimized like that. Who have never lost a child. And the things that they say, oh my gosh, and they freak out too, are, are not even... It's, it's, non, it's a non-measurement. That's how small it is compared to what's happened to these families. Okay? But they act like they were crucified. They act like, I, I can't even, it's just so ridiculous, but it's okay what they do to you. It's okay what they do to me. It's okay how they lie. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's out of this world. It's out of this world. It's so, and the people now rallying behind this, these people rallying. Oh, give her peace, give her peace, give her peace. I wish that in a way that you all could have um, experienced the meeting last night because, like I said, Lucy, Jay, and Nicole, and others of you who were there helped me in a way that you will never understand because my faith was very low. And what you said, and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't because I said my faith was low that you brought it up, it came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere, which is more of a testimony that, um, and that renews my faith than, than anything else, okay? But... It was so spectacular that I couldn't believe what I was hearing, okay? And show me more than ever that everything aligned, everything aligned for a reason. My blog server went down for a reason. I turned to videos more than ever for a reason. A case came into my peripheral for a reason. I covered a case for a reason. I met certain people because of that for a reason. Rosemary D'Alessandro contacted me in February of 2020 for a reason. I made a video of her daughter for a reason. Her daughter was killed in a town that's several towns away from me in New Jersey. We learned all about it as kids. All of that happened for a reason. and. Then, you know, I met and became very good friends with Sandra for a reason. And all of that is all for a reason. And that all gives me faith because that's not coincidence. The timeline that that all happened, that I don't know how I would have sustained myself or survived without having that support because I certainly, certainly didn't have people around me that suffered loss like that. And then we went straight into the, we were in the pandemic when it happened. So any type of real uh, community support or anything is negligent, right? There's nothing there that I would have been probably in the corner of my room rocking back and forth or something. But this channel gave me something every day to come and do. Um, this channel gave me people that reached out to me like Davida Lane because I didn't know people that, well, I might know people that have lost a child, but they weren't, you know, I wasn't able to be on the phone with them. And, and I probably wouldn't have myself reached out to them. But because of this channel, people reached out to me and shared that with me. And I didn't feel alone. And that wouldn't have happened if it didn't align, you know, everything aligned. And that's why that meeting was just so unbelievable last night and means so much to me. And I went to bed feeling so good. And then, you know, the very people who have literally brought me to the brink with their harassment and their bullying want peace for themselves, 
but didn't care at all about peace when someone else was going through the loss of a child. They didn't care. They didn't care. They just kept at it and kept at it and kept at it. And if she doesn't like it, she should get off YouTube. And if she doesn't like it, she should get off YouTube. Well, she really gets a lot of support. That doesn't matter. Well, she really reaches. No, that doesn't matter. There's people in the community that are hurting that she helps. It doesn't matter. We want her off YouTube. How many times has that woman calling for peace saying she wishes, she wishes I would just disappear? When you say that over and over that you just wish I would disappear, you are inciting hate and you are inciting someone unhinged listening to you to go and make that possible. When you say you'd like to shake the hand and you would buy the glitter bombs from the people that send it to me, you are inciting hate and violence and attacks against me. Keep saying you wish I would disappear. I know you wish I would disappear. I know you wish I would be dead. I know you would celebrate that if it happened. I know you tried to send me over the brink. I know when nothing else worked, you went after my son. And yes, you did. Playing that video, you didn't have to say a damn thing. Playing that video, you said it all. And then saying you agreed with it, you would have done the same thing. You've said everything. So sit up there and say you want peas and put out another fundraiser and say how you need your meals bought because you can't remember to eat and your family can't remember to eat. And you know, I don't know what remembering to eat has to do with the money. Does the money help you remember to eat? Does the money coming in help you remember to eat? Because don't you have money in your accounts to buy that food? How does that help your memory? All oh, the little notifications that you're getting more and more money that helps you to remember to eat? It's absolutely sickening. It's absolutely, it's, it's beyond sickening. Apparently, Laura, apparently, because the, the money that uh, they're paying for the meals, you know, it's a little thing. It's, it's just, she wrote about it. It's a little thing. And, and thanks for remembering uh, that they bought them the dinner and stuff because you just forget to eat. <laughs> You know, you just forget to eat. I, I don't know how I survived because, um, I don't know how I survived because I didn't have people sending um, me money to go buy food to eat. I didn't have a food fund when my son died. I didn't have a bereavement fund when my son died. And I doubt very much that she's paying for the funeral. And even if she was, who does she think paid for my son's funeral? And did I have a bereavement fund? Did I have a GoFundMe? That's, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. And, and not that I'm saying that somebody shouldn't if they need that, okay? This is what I'm saying. But to the point that we wouldn't have even done that because of the backlash that they gave us and we didn't even do it. And we didn't even do it. Okay? Because of what it would have done. And, and if you remember, I said it in the Father's Day when I said they would have lost their minds. The blogger, um, Brittany, Brit, uh, whatever the heck her last name is, thank you, Lucy, she lost a three-month or five-month-old son. And they, people set up a GoFundMe in her community so that she could take time off of her blog without losing income. Okay? And raised to the tune of over, what, $150,000 in a matter of days so that she could take essentially the year off if she wanted to. And I said they would have lost their minds had something been done like that. But then they kept telling me to take time off. And when I told them I can't take time off because this is not a hobby for me. It is not a hobby for me. And I don't have $150,000 GoFundMe to sustain me, okay? And they still wanted to mock me. Oh, I can't believe she's back on. I can't believe she's back on. Well, number one, it was therapeutic for me to get back on. But number two, nobody was paying for my meals. Nobody was paying for my groceries. Nobody was paying for my taxes, my electric bill, or anything, okay? If I didn't go on, my kids' lives would have been disrupted even more so. So, um, it's just, it's insane, okay? It's absolutely insane. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. I'm very sorry that your cousin lost their son there. Awesome. Prayers. I'm very sorry that your cousin lost their son there. Awesome. Prayers. But uh, it's just, it's just out of this world. It's just crazy. So... Well, I hope somebody picked up their, their meals today because they might forget to eat. And, uh, you know, we're supposed to feel like, oh, no, we need peace because they've had, they've had a loss. When Jimmy's sister died, there was no stopping. That's my kid's aunt. There was no stopping. Instead, there were videos made about how I was faking having COVID, how I didn't have COVID. You think that I have any inkling that this person is really wanting peace? She is the most vile, nasty, rotten person, in my opinion, that I've ever seen. She
She says the most vile, nasty, hateful stuff. What about the one video she made against me for an hour she ranted and within minutes it closed her channel down. It was that bad. That video closed her channel down because it was that bad. Okay? And then she went again in another video saying I didn't have COVID, I had a cold. I had a cold. The SWAT was fake. The fall down the stairs was fake. Because that's the way they're, in my opinion, demented minds think. None of that was fake. The proof is all there. Just like the death threats, everything. And they have those very people on their panels. And they're saying they want peace while you have somebody that called for the violent death of three creators, BBT Boston, on your panels. While you hear the very death threat she made to me on voicemail, you have her on your panel and you want to call for peace. You have her lies, you promote her channel, your people are over there in the most hateful channel that's asking for CPS and the police to be called on me, and you say you want peace? You don't want peace. The very people that are screaming for peace in your chats are over on that other channel begging for another video to be made of me. Be begging for another video to be made to mock me and my family. To say a SWAT was fake, to say that I need to be in a mental institution, that I need to disappear off of YouTube. Really? I don't know. I was gonna, I was gonna show you these. I, 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 this has calmed down because I, I was so infuriated when I saw that. Just absolutely infuriated at not only the double standard, not only the hypocrisy, but the deception, and that people believe that this woman wants peace, or these people want peace, then do you not see them shouting for another hate video to be made about me? Do you not see them applauding the videos that lie about me? Do you not see that? Don't tell me you want peace, any of you that are in those videos begging, begging this creator for videos to be made about me. And what's worse, I haven't done any of the things that they're saying. About me, and what's worse, I haven't done any of the things that they're saying. What they're doing is trying to deflect from her evil and the other's evil by pretending that I did things similar to that, pretending that I've stalked their mother, pretending that I made up a SWAT, pretending that all of this stuff I say didn't happen. That I you think because it's deleted, no one else knows. But let me tell you. The last few days, I've had to have meetings with people and I've had to assemble a new database so that new people can review this information. And as I'm putting it in this database, I'm reminded of all the sick and twisted and unbelievable things that you guys posted. That, that so many of your new people have never seen. So many of them don't know because you've deleted all of that crap off your channel. Right, alleged psychologist? They never saw your ugly. They never saw your ugliness, did they? They missed all that. They missed you screaming out my name and lying and saying I said stuff about your father. And then you disparaged my parents. Remember that? My videos are still up where I responded to it, and I have your videos that you deleted or privated. Why are you so ashamed of what you've done? The Lazy Boy channel deleted over um, a million, what did not know, 100,000 uh, views just in one day. They had to hide a bunch of videos, okay? Then they brought some back and they had to hide some more. You know, it's, it's always uh, hiding and it's, it's a cat and mouse game. Okay, what do we have to hide? What do we have to hide? What could, what could they do to us on this one? What could be found on this one? But what they don't realize is they're all, they're all, they're all, they're all harvested. They're all there and they're all a testimony to your real character. So you can delete them and you can try to clean your channel and maybe people will be fooled for a while, but they're not going to be fooled forever because your true character is your true character and it's always going to shine through. It's always going to come back. You can try to pretend you're nice and, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if the whole community got together because my aunt died and wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, we could all have a kumbaya by the fire and everything would be great. Where was the peace when my son died? Where was the peace when other people's children died in this community? Where was the peace then? Nobody gets peace. In fact, how would you like to have videos made about you if your child died saying that you killed your child? Saying that you had a part in your child's murder? Would you like that? Would you like that? Do you know that there's families that have to contend with that crap? How would you like that? Would you? You think people, can you imagine? Can you imagine if a lazy boy woman lost a child and someone made a video that said she had a part in her child's murder? If her child was murdered? You think she put up with that? You think anybody would? It would be the most outrageous thing ever, right? How, co how come families have to put up for that with almost four years now? How come other families have to put up with that for almost four freaking years now? That other channel, you know, the one that uh, they're all clamoring to, the ones that want peace are all clamoring to and begging, begging for another video. That channel has left comments up that say, I think Frankie and Carolyn, me, murdered everyone. But those are the people that want peace. Those are the people that it's okay. Right? Right?
or spirit boxes when the family when the family says stop with the spirit boxes stop with the spirit boxes it bothers us these people that want peace say well i'm sorry then just turn the channel off and they're not even using a spirit box they're using an app on a telephone okay in order to milk it for money over the murder of someone not discussing it with facts not talking about it with facts and now guess what now they're going to go cover it again because their coverage was so stellar their coverage was nothing but conspiracy and lies and they admit at least they're going to do it for views they do it the best they do it the worst they don't even know what a fact is and they don't know the case but they'll do it again right and it's okay if they speculate that maybe family members joined in maybe family members took bribes and covered it up and looked the other way because they really didn't care about their kids anyway that's what these disgusting people say and that's what family members have to put up with but they want peace they want peace you don't want peace you want a deflection from your behavior you want to lie about people you want to you want to lie about people you want to hurt families of victims you want to not only hurt families of victims you want to accuse them of, of, of heinous acts and i've got news for you i've got news for you you know all these uh, truth and awareness channels that are coming up about the um the woman and the lazy boy not all of them are who they are not, not all of them are the people you may think they are Not all of them, well, I can tell you a lot of them have not been directly hurt, have not been dragged day after day, night after night, video after video after video after video after video as I have. There's not one chat of this woman's where my name doesn't come up, and yet they want to align themselves and say they are, you know, stellar individuals now, and they're, they're searching for this uh, clarity and this truth, and they want to hold, you know, her accountable, which is well, good and great, and, and, you know, you may say, okay, well, that's good, but do you know that uh, some of the very ones that maybe some of you hold very esteemed, didn't say the nicest things about Shanann. Didn't say the nicest things at all. But again, again, the videos, or so they think, are deleted. See, they, they're deleted by the creator. And I was ripped apart by some of these truth channels. Not, not, not when they were truth channels, but prior, when they were subscribers of Natasha, or when they were on their own channel, or when they were on a panel, or when they were on a recent panel. There were little windows of that. And you know, I had to remember that someone was the same person, because the name changed. And um, thanks, Nightmare. Hi, Irene, thank you. Because the name changed, okay? And so I was like, wait a minute. And as I had to go through the databases, again, to prepare them, I did see from my own eyes that, yeah, and I think some of you that are new to this and don't know the past would be very appalled, absolutely appalled, that the very people you hold in such high esteem, the very people you are members of, the very people you are rallying for, the very people you think who are standing up for the cause, the very people, are the same people, one and the same, that ripped apart Shanann. She was too bossy. She was belittling. She didn't treat Cindy Watts right. She didn't do this right. She didn't do that right. It's her fault they were in debt. It's her fault they did this. It's her fault that this happened. It's her fault that happened. Even talking about the children, even talking about her as a mother, so this is what I mean. Someone's past, someone's character, someone's personality, it all carries over. On YouTube, people think they can invent themselves over and over and over and over again. You just found out about a creator the other day. Who's, that? Who's a basher? Yeah, I think a few people found out about a creator that's a basher. But you know what? Sometimes people don't know who someone is. They don't. And they just take something at face value, even though there are little red flags. Okay, even though they're red flags, even though things are going on, even though they really don't know much about that person's past, they don't know who that person was. When I came to YouTube and did started the videos the way I did, well, I, I had my channel since 2012, and somebody could go back and look and see that the only videos that I posted were videos that were related to the blog post because I was primarily a blogger and not a vlogger, okay? It's changed, it's the opposite now. But you could see, I used my name. I had a blog where you could go back. So say you've discovered me in 2018 with the Watts case. Well, if you wanted to find out about me, you could find out about me because you could go to my blog and you could go back to what, 2009, 2010, almost a decade, and learn about me and see that I posted and wrote, you know, consistently. And then I had other blogs, a green one and a marketing one, and, and you could see all that. And then so when I came here, I never hid who I was. I didn't hide behind a uh, little face that talks. I didn't hide anything, okay? I was here. My family was here, it took you along with me, didn't hide anything. And when I started to try to get run off YouTube, the first thing they said to me was that I better run because they were gonna look into my past and they were gonna find all of my skeletons. And by skeletons, they meant mugshots and they meant criminal records, mm -hmm, 100%. 
and we even laughed one time because we saw something in a channel and the two creators were screaming that you looked up all of my moderators criminal records and their mugshots and you're not going to do that to my moderators and well well you know yes people can have a criminal record and they can change and it shouldn't be held against them if they're changing but i told them i don't have mugshots you're not going to find arrests i've never been drunk in my life i've never smoked a cigarette i've never smoked pot i've never done an illegal drug When they heard that, I think that's why they went at me harder. Because th there weren't these things that were so, this, the drama community kept doing to each other, exposing everybody's, doxing their real name, doxing this, doxing that, going, uh, I'm going to get your mugshots, I'm going to put this out here. And so they've come to invent things. And the one that wants peace is the one that was reading, what was she reading, oh, that they were going to come out with, uh, I better watch out, they're going to come out with my lesbian affair with Jimmy's ex. Really? Okay, I'm still waiting on that one. I'm really interested in finding out who it was that I had this imaginary affair with. But I'm still waiting. Still waiting. But that's what they do. They try to scare people by exposing them. So they tried to run me off that way. And that didn't work. Okay? And then when my son died, they thought, oh, good, she'll never come back. She'll never come back. Yeah, right, she'll just abandon something she built for, for what, over a decade at that point? I'm just going to abandon it, right? My career, my livelihood, my income. I'm going to abandon that. Are you, is anybody able to abandon their career, their life, their livelihood that supports their family because of a loss? Unfortunately, you can't because you're responsible. So you have to keep going. But I was blessed that instead of just blogging where I'm by myself, God, and there's no other, there's no other way to say it, God put the, the path there that directed me from my blog to primarily on YouTube, so the opposite of what it was. And so you can go back on my YouTube channel and go back to 2012 and see videos, okay? But I wasn't, I wasn't doing it the way I am now. It was the blog that was the primary focus. But still, there's a history of who I am, okay? And I'll never forget my obstetrician, because I, I, I'm a little worried when I'm pregnant and stuff. When I changed obstetricians, we got very close to the one we had that delivered Ethan. And he called for the records from my old one. And I'll never forget the nurse brought them in and they were like this thick, okay? And he used to always save Jimmy and I for the last appointment of the day because he would spend so much time with us became very good friends. And He opened the files and he just started laughing and he said, I said, what? And he said, I can tell you that you are a very consistent person. Who you are is who you are. Because the same things that he was reading that I might have been worried about in the pregnancy at, at that time with my daughter, which was what, 18, 19 years before Ethan's, were the very same things that I, and he says, nobody can say you're not consistent. And that's what you'll, you'll find. I mean, I, there's a track record there. I wasn't um, dodging in and out of uh, Facebook groups. There's not going to be people in my hometowns of either New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York. They're not going to be there saying that I scammed them. They're not going to say that I did them dirty. Okay. Now they'll probably create a fake page and, and fake people, but the real people, you're not going to find that on the real page. I can walk with my head held high in any of town that I've lived in or that I live in. I still have lifelong friends that I went to preschool with who are on my Facebook page who I'm still friends with today because I don't just do people dirty like that. I'm not some kind of a person that befriends somebody because of what it's going to give me or what I'm going to get from it and then discard them when they're no longer useful. I care always. So you can see that with me. You don't have to wonder what my real name is. You don't have to wonder um, it's just going to be gone in the night or, or I am who I am. Okay, and that's something, that's a genuineness that is not very readily here. And at times, I will tell you that we sit around and we think, are we the only normal people on YouTube? You know, because I've had people who are not who they say they are, and you guys know that, okay? Who I trusted, who told me and befriended me under false pretenses, under tragedies, who not only showed me their face, showed me fake credentials, showed me and fooled people in another country and a university, PhDs, doctors, things like that that they stayed with and that, they, that, that visited their home over there. So... Is it always showing someone's face that gives them credibility? Not always, but I could not connect with her, even though she had a Facebook page, couldn't connect any family members to her or real life friends because of the witness protection program. See, there was a problem. I don't have a witness protection program that I'm telling you about that you're not gonna find, you know, the people that know me. Um, but yeah, there's just like so so much. And, uh, and I just find that there's people that get behind and rally for these people and everybody acts like they're insane because we don't see you over on the other channel, begging for hate videos to be made, applauding people lying about me and joining in, asking for people that have been so harmed by me to contact them, yet when somebody says, you're impersonating our business, they still haven't recanted their two um, counter-strikes, which is against the law. And they haven't even responded to that business, right? And when someone asked, what did Carolyn do to you? They said, why? But they're over there saying, I've destroyed people's lives and, and whatnot, okay? 
and all these haters are the ones that tried to rip the channel down, that tried to ruin everything. And you know what? Yeah, you might have you might have uh, caused some things to happen, but the channel's still here, and it's still growing. It's growing slow, but it's still growing. We're not bleeding subscribers. We're still growing. Okay. Did we lose views? Yeah, we lost views. We'll get them back. We'll get them back. You screwed up our algorithms. Okay. It'll all work itself out. Thank you, Ruby, for being a member. But the channel's here. Our community's here. You screwed up our algorithms by using our name and tagging it all over into the drama world and lying about us and, 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 and essentially trying to destroy us with your lies. Did it work for you a little bit? Did it get you views? It certainly did. Did it get you subscribers? It certainly did. Did it get you a bunch of haters that ended up stabbing you in the back too? It certainly did. In the long run, in the long run, is it going to be successful for you? It certainly will not. It certainly will not. And that's what we have to look at the long run anyway. And in the long run, anything we've lost, we'll get back and more. Okay? Because we're consistent. You can try with your little tactics that, that hurt, hurt things, hurt our income. Yeah. Yeah, you hurt our income. Sure, you love that. You love hearing that. You hurt our views. You hurt our algorithms. You hurt the way we show up in search engines because of how you manipulated using our tags. Yeah, you did. You did. You caused hardship for our family. You did. You still are. You still are causing hardship for our family because of it. Because of this, these new hate channels, this new one that they're all clamoring to. And he won't stop tagging me. And he won't stop putting my tags in there so that when you search for me, you go there and the amount of people that see something like that and see those lies and then don't go any further. So all of that, yeah. But they're not going to they're not going to be able to sustain themselves on a channel that does nothing but hate, harass, and bully people with lies. <coughs> so yeah. So go ahead. I, don't, I really don't care if you want to say how many are watching her, how many are watching me. Because let's talk about that in three years. Let's talk about that in two years. Talk about it in a year. You're looking at the small picture, the very small picture of right now. Because your hate is trending, okay? Because your bullying and harassing is trending. Because people are looking at the train wreck. But they're not looking at you in the way you want to be looked at. And you're not building a community, and though you try to keep saying you are. Your community is disintegrating. It's turning over faster and faster. You can't grow a community with the way it's turning over, okay? That's not a strong community, and you'll never have one because of the way you treat people and you don't care about anyone. And you've told them, you said they're all replaceable. Doesn't matter, they're just a number to you. Numbers are the only thing that's important to you. So I'd rather have 172 people watching me that want to watch me. I'd rather have 50 people here that want to do a crap with me, that really want to be with me. Rather than four or five, six hundred people watching me, that 90% of them can't stand me. So, when the cases come again, we'll get our numbers. And I'm, I'm not worried about that. I know that I cover cases the way they should be covered, which means that there won't be victim bashing, which means that the facts will be covered, not conspiracy. Okay? And that the victims will always be protected, their families will be protected, and we'll see it through for justice and to educate the public about the legal process, about the court case, and, and the evidence. That's what it'll be centered on, not speculation, not spirit boxes. I'm not worried about uh, that at all. Am I worried about that it causes hardship for my family, what they've done? Yeah, I am. I am. And it, does, and it does worry me. It does, because it's made things very, very bad. Um, and when you're worried about stuff like that, it's hard to get past that. But it'll be fine. I'll just trust that it'll be fine. So they can point out anything they want as my stats. Point them out. Hi, Bradley Bob. You know, point them out. Make yourself feel better. Make yourself feel better. Okay? Have another fund for food. Have another food fund. Have another um, fund for, you know, whatever that you use it for. Have funds for that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I was going to show you, I, well, I've got to put the varnish on these. I, I did get